A home breeder calls to Paya vets in distress. The puppy is stuck, says the breeder. Arrangements was made to immediately fetch the pregnant dog to Topayo Vets. An emergency caesarean section was performed immediately. Because the surgery wasn't delayed, the pup that was stuck was spared from death. As a home breeder, you should be aware of the different pregnancy needs of different dog breeds. Chihuahuas, Yorkshire Terriers and other small breeds may need caesarean sections to help them give birth. C-sections may have a high cost of between $1,500 to $4,000. If pregnant dogs do not enter surgery in time, the mother and pups would die. So you've got a new puppy. What's next? Visit your local vet for a post-purchase health check to get an overview of your puppy's health. Your vet will highly advise you, as a responsible owner, to vaccinate your puppy to prevent unwanted diseases. Complete all three vaccinations. Follow your vet's advice for deworming tablets, tick prevention and heartworm jabs. It is compulsory for all dogs in Singapore to get microchipped and licensed. It is part of being a responsible owner to get this done as soon as possible. Sterilization is highly recommended by vets as it not only prevents antisocial behavior, but it also puts your dog in lower risk of tumors in future. Sometimes you may notice unsatisfactory or antisocial behavior in your puppy. This may require you to call a qualified obedience trainer or train your puppy yourself so that it'll be easier to handle him in future. Try positive reinforcement to correct your puppy's behavior. Paper training is done by confining the puppy inside the toilet. Install a baby gate. Cover the toilet floor 100% with paper. Put a piece of paper with the puppy's urine or tissue paper with his urine smell in one corner. Put his food, water, towel or bed at another corner. The puppy is left there for the next 2-4 to four weeks given privacy and not stressed out by scoldings or the presence of children or family members. The puppy may be taken out to play after he has passed motion regularly and this may take a week. As you and your dog get older, you may notice him being less active and you being less absorbed in your pet. However, this is the crucial time in your dog's life that you should bring him for regular checkups, dental checkups, and possibly dental scaling if needed. Your dog is exposed to infection and injury during his entire lifetime, and the risk increases as he gets older, just like humans. Skin diseases, ringworms, ear infections, eye injuries, bladder stones and tick fever are some of the most common cases in dogs. This dog was brought in to Topaya Vets because he was scratching at his eyes and they started tearing. From a distance, his eyes look healthy, but then, why would he be scratching it so much? This is a fluorescent stain eye test used to detect the presence of eye ulcers in the cornea. The orange dye from the eye strip will stain any existing eye ulcers green. The dye is placed in between the eyelids. Look closely, there is a green dot that has been stained by the fluorescent test. There is definitely an eye ulcer in this dog's eye. This is a 6 year old female golden retriever who has had itchy ears for the past 2 months. The dog's ears are so red and swollen that the dog feels pain just by inserting a cotton bud into the ear. The dog was sedated with a small dose of Domitor as it's quite an old dog. The ear is then flushed out with water with a syringe. The ear canal is massaged vigorously. The procedure is repeated until no more residue or pus is present in the ear.
The dog's pupils are checked to make sure she is still stable under the sedation. Pressure is put on the dog's leg so that the vein is visible for an injection. This injection will help the dog wake up. The dog is still a bit weak from sedation, but her ears are all clean and she's happy. Just like humans, senior dogs are prone to heart diseases, tumours and organ failures. Never delay tumour operations. The bigger the tumour, the more expensive the surgery. Do a daily check for lumps and bumps in your senior dog. Be aware that parasites also put your dog at risk. Do personal research on how to prevent them or ask your local vet. There seems to be more responsible and caring pet owners amongst the young ones in Singapore. Usually, there will be conflicts with some older parents as regards to vet costs and treatment. Sometimes, families might consider euthanasia. It is always advisable to have family discussions when making big decisions about your pet. Be compassionate for their dog's life just as he is compassionate to you.